Hello, this is part one without player two. Today I'm going to be starting a new series where I'm going to be attempting to try and teach people piano. Some videos player two is going to be jumping in and I'm going to be teaching him to see how useful the information is if he wants to. It's not really, it's his choice if he wants to do it or not. So let's get started. I'm going to be play, tr trying to teach a song called The Fire Engine. So let's get to it. Starting position, your thumb is on middle C, and then an octave below that is your pinky with your left hand. So, you start by using both of your pinkies, then both of your fourth fingers, middle, second, and your thumb. And then you're going to do the, pretty much the opposite. You're going to go second, third, fourth. That's the first measure. So... So then on the second measure, you play with your pinkies again. Then you do your first and your third finger on your left hand. So, and well, I'll get the rest of the measure. Then you use your, then you use your third finger on your right hand, and do this and play the same. Then you, know, you played second on that measure twice. So it should sound like this so far. So, next you're going to play F and, the, and also D with your left hand. And then you are going to play, the, it's pretty much the same. You're going to use your first and your second finger. And then you're going to use, and then you're going to play D and then use your first and second finger again. So, <clears throat> the measure should sound like this. So on the last measure of that line, you are going to use you're going to use E on the treble clef and also C on the bass clef. Basically, the bass clef is the same as the second measure. So <clears throat> then we're going to use C C F for the second two times. So the first line should sound like. It's almost the repeat of the, of the first line, except on the last measure, you only play C in the bass clef. So, second, so the second line should sound like this. Okay. So on the third line is the different line. The fourth line is the same as the second line. But for the third line, we are going to be using our, we're going to be using D, <clears throat> then the other D, so. Then we're going to use our first and second finger again, so. Then we're going to be using a G with the bass clef the same, so. Okay, so then we're going to do D, C, and D, and then we're going to use E, then our first and second, and then our first and second finger, then we're going to hold D with our first and second finger, so it should sound something like this. Okay, so on the third measure of the, of the third line, we are going to be playing with middle C, then we are going to be using our our other C. Then we're going to be using our first and third finger again. So then we're going to be using our G again, almost the same. So okay. So then we're going to do C, D, and C first and second. So the, so the third line should sound like this. Okay, so then as I said, the fourth line is identical to the second line. So let's try playing this from the start.
Okay, so that is the whole song complete. I hope you did almost as well as I did. I hope that was some good information. I don't, as I said, I might be testing it on player two sometimes if he wants to join in the video. So I don't know how useful it was. But I hope you enjoy. I hope you learned a few things about the song. And I, I just hope you do well. Oh, and also, don't forget to like and subscribe. Bye!